2021, I applied for this master program. I was at the University Felix Fred Brand of Abidjan doing my master in physics and already having a background of physics, let's say a bachelor in physics, and I applied for the program to start this journey. We just first started uh, a language course in Ghana at the University of, Co uh, of Cape Coast where we did three months of language courses and then we came here in Niger for the two semester of common course. Uh, we did uh, the first semester talking about fundamental energy, all those um, courses related to energy system, energy mix. And then during the second semester, we tried to learn more specifically what is bioenergy, what is photovoltaic, what is, um, let's say, energy market, also green hydrogen production and wind energy, hydropower, all those kind of renewable energy sources. And then we started the third semester, which is, which is the semester of the specialization, where I'm personally doing the specialization of photovoltaics for green hydrogen technology. So we started this semester since October 2022, and we, we are expected to end this in like the next month, April 2023. And after this, we will have the opportunity to go in Germany at the research center Julisch, where we will have an internship of four months doing thesis writing, working with some professors, some lecturers, and talk about all those um, green hydrogen production, green hydrogen storage, and I will personally work, uh, working on light striking effect, working on uh, solar cell, all those things in order to improve the efficiency of photovoltaic technology. And here we have this inverter, and the role of this inverter is to convert the dark current uh, coming from the photovoltaic panel to the alternative current. So most of the equipment we use in our room, in our lifestyle, in our house, are AC current. So we need this alternative current to come from the iron inverter and to supply our dish. When we talk about photovoltaic technology, we are talking about the technology that make the that make use of the sun to transform or to convert this sunlight into electricity by the use of photovoltaic module. Uh, using this sunlight, we have all kind of uh, let's say equipment like an inverter to convert the electricity from. A DC to AC direct current to AC current and as such we have electricity to power our house to achieve the sustainable development good seven which is access to clean electricity access to clean energy and by this we are also reducing the use of fossil fuel to generate electricity we know nowadays we are in a context of reducing climate change effects and help to mitigate the different effects of global warming in the community because we are observing every day the uh, catastrophic effect exacerbated by climate change and we need to act because people are suffering all over the world. We have uh, some phenomena that we are observing like drug, flood, many extreme cl uh, climatic events that are currently happening. So uh, scientists, international organizations, people are thinking about how to face these challenges and one option is the use of renewable energy to let's say improve our energy sector because energy sectors and transportation are one of the most emitted sectors in terms of greenhouse effect in terms of greenhouse gases so we have to move forward 
a carbon neutral environment, we have to move toward uh, the use of clean energy sources. Africa, Africa. Talking now about the energy sector in West Africa and especially in Cote d'Ivoire, we know that in, in Cote d'Ivoire we have the third largest electricity, uh, let's say, grid in West Africa. But uh, despite all, the Ivorian government is still working toward making the country, the country an electricity hub in the region. The electricity in Cote d'Ivoire is mostly based on hydroelectric dam and thermal, with a total installed capacity of 2,269 megawatts as of 2021. So as a Pascal student uh, studying energy, green hydrogen, and more especially photovoltaic, I'm now thinking about how I can integrate this photovoltaic, the potential of photovoltaic in the energy mix of my country. This is a new challenge for me as now a change maker, as a student in renewable energy, especially in photovoltaic. And I would like to also not forget to really thank Waskal and BMBF for this opportunity that they gave to us but, uh, to have the opportunity with this full scholarship to learn about renewable energy, to learn about green hydrogen, to make us the future expert of this renewable energy and hydrogen in West Africa and to make us also the future ambassador of renewable energy in West Africa and make us the future generation of solar energy within the world. So really big thanks to Waskal, BNBF and all their partners to, for this amazing opportunity. Thank you. Africa, Africa.